the NFL Combine decided that they were going to alter their COVID policies after we had a, uh, a, not a boycott totally, but a near boycott of the Combine for multiple players, right? Uh, The headline over at ESPN, amid talk of player boycotts, NFL scouting Combine amends events, COVID-19 policies and procedures. There were a lot of agents of players that were going to sit out the combine and they were just going to do their work at their own pro days on their own campuses because they were not going to allow the players to have access to their own medical people, etc. while at the combine. I found it a little ridiculous. I understand wanting to keep the number of people at the combine limited, but when you have full open stadiums, full everything else, Having these policies in place is a bit ridiculous. Um, I, I don't understand why they even had this uh, in the in the beginning. Uh, the memo for this that the NFL put out, or at least that the Combine put out, uh, it landed hours after the potential of player boycotts made news on Monday morning. Uh, sources told ESPN's Dan Graziano that a group of player agents was threatening to organize a boycott of certain key elements of the combine if its concerns about a COVID-19 bubble continued to be ignored. Not all agents were in that group. Now, the NFL sent a memo last week uh, to draft prospects and their agents. It was outlining the rules of the combine. It included a bubble that would keep prospects from interacting with their personal trainers, doctors, nutritionists, and agents while in Indianapolis. And this is now going to be fixed. They're going to be able to, to be around those guys. I'm beginning to wonder whether or not a lot of these players are going to continue going to the combine. If you can do all of this in a place where you are the most comfortable, why would you not, right? Now, yes, the combine has all of the teams present. You want to be able to get in front of as many teams as possible to make sure that you get drafted, etc. I just wonder about the top, top players. Are they still going to go to the combine going forward? We we've, we've seen a lot of guys decide, eh, I'm not going to run. Eh, I'm not going to measure at the combine. Eh, I'm not even going to run uh, routes or I'm not going to do any skills things. I'm going to go and measure and then leave. And if they want to come see me, then they can come see me at my pro day. We've already seen a ton of this. I'm just curious if the top top guys are going to continue going. Will the combine continue to be the spectacle that it has been over the years because all of these people know that They're going to get drafted by somebody, and all of these different teams will fly to them. I'm curious. (laughs) I'm curious about a lot of things today. There's a lot of different news that is is interesting. So the fact that a near boycott made the NFL Combine decide to change course on their COVID policies, that's intriguing. We'll see what ends up happening going forward, but I would imagine we're going to see more of this in the future and the Combine might not be as big of a deal as it has been for quite some time. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.